In today's example, we have a shot of escape arc and the director has asked us to remove the cracks in the concrete so they aren't distracting or whatever the reason they have. We're going to track our footage, create a clean plate of the concrete, and apply it to our shot. And at the end, I'll show you how these skills can be applied in other ways. Okay, first things first, we have our footage inside of After Effects. This is what we're looking at. And we're going to go in here and we're going to clean out all these cracks. And it's fairly simple, just a couple steps to go through. So I'm going to bring this into a new composition. There we go. And I'm just going to rename this, hit enter, and rename it uh, Master Comp. Just to stay organized, move it to comps. Okay, so inside here, the first thing we are going to want to do is track our footage. And we're going to use Mocha. So we'll go up, make sure your footage is selected, go up to animation, go to track and Boris effects mocha. A little effect will pop up here, click mocha. Okay, and as we scrub through here, we have our footage again. And I'm just going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to click this spline pen tool here, and we are just going to click and circle this whole block as, like, this whole entire block as a whole and the points every time you click we're looking for high contrast points that makes it easier for the tracker to stay aligned and that generally follow the shape of what you're tracking so right now we have a plane that's going to track this whole face here and go down the track and hit track forwards this will take more time depending on your computer specs or how many points that you have placed down more points just means it's going to have to compute a little bit longer Okay, once it's finished, we can see it tracks along pretty well. A little test you can do is go over to your left side and do insert clip. And you can go down to logo, and it'll put a fake little logo in there. And if you scrub through here, it'll show you how track to it is. So double click on your layer, just call this track. Uh, control S, make sure you save. Hit the little X once you're done. It's now in Mocha and After Effects. In the Mocha effect, go to tracking data create tracking data and by default usually this is set to being blank you want to make sure that this little gear icon is here on your track that you made click OK and we're gonna go to export options go to transform and then before we do anything go down to your composition right click new null object and we're just gonna call this tracking data go back to your footage go to layer to export to change it to tracking data, apply export. So now if you select your null and you hit U on your keyboard, it shows you all your keyframes, shows what your tracking is doing. Cool. So we're halfway there. Next thing we're going to do is scrub through and you want to find, in this situation, we're trying to get rid of these cracks. So you want to find a still that has all of them showing. So you can kind of see on the right side here, we lose that crack back and forth. So at the very beginning it looks like it shows the most of it, so this will have everything that we want to change. So select your footage, control D to duplicate it, and you can get rid of the mocha from that layer. And hit enter, enter, and rename it to clean plate. So then what we're gonna do is right click, time, and freeze frame. So now this whole layer is frozen and our footage is behind it. So now what we're going to do is make sure your clean plate is selected, go to layer, pre-compose. We're going to change this to underscore pre-comp. Make sure move all attributes was selected. In the timeline where we stopped the footage and did a freeze frame, it was at the very beginning here is where I did it. So at that point you're going to select your footage, link it to the tracking data. So now we have our footage moving again, but it's going to be a little odd. And if I add a tint effect, it'll show you what's happening here. So our footage is moving with the original camera movement, but that still frame is tracking along with it. And as the camera moves up, it's revealing more footage that wasn't in this original frame. So now you can go into this composition, and it's a still frame, and we can make all of our changes. So let's start by going in selecting go to window and you're going to want to bring up your paint here and your brushes so we have paint and brushes 
select your footage and we're going to use the clone tool in this instance and once you select it you have some available options here go into paint inside your paint options you want to make sure the duration is set to constant sometimes it will be single frame you want it to be constant and so we're going to start at the very beginning of the beginning of the frame here and zoom in and with your clone tool selected double click on your footage and now you have a little brush tool usually the default one is fine to use because we're just using our mouse right now but if you go into brushes you have more options to change size change the feather all that uh, default is totally fine and if you hold control and click and drag you can scale up your brush up and down so that's what I'll be doing most of the time as I go through here so if you haven't used the clone tool before um, what you do is you hold alt on a section if you hold alt and you can move your mouse around and once you click you will now reference those pixels so if I click this little black spot here and I start painting it'll duplicate it and it'll copy it over so I'll undo that so now we're just gonna do is go through and alt click here and start painting away as you hold I'm holding my mouse down as I'm painting through you let go and now you have a strip of paint on that section and it's fairly easy and depending on the subject that you're painting it has enough texture in there to look like this is natural so I'm just gonna keep moving forward continuously alt clicking and letting go letting it letting it finish because if you mess up and you go through this whole thing with one stroke and you have to finish and undo it then you're gonna have to keep redoing a whole entire length so just make sure you continually work through a chunk that you like and then let go and then you're good so that part is done so now we'll go up here I'll click on the left of it just kind of paint over the crack here and in this situation just kind of bounce around to different parts and now we've already filled in that whole entire gap that was right there so I'll click continue continue on it's better to keep it small if you do big chunks. So if I make a really big brush, I click here and I just go through and duplicate all this. You can see it looks duplicated. It looks looks like it was blended or duplicated up. And it generally just looks messy and it shows where you have uh, where you've done the work. Because the goal in this situation is you don't want anyone to know that you've done this. So continuing on go through you paint out the cracks and I'm gonna go down now and you could do this in Photoshop or even with a tablet if you have it but uh, I generally this I generally find this a little bit quicker and not having to round trip back out of a different program um, is a little bit quicker sometimes it's always good to know how to do it without leaving the program. See how you have two blotches right there that look like they're very obviously duplicated? I will then go back over, select this part, just get rid of one, and now you'll never know. So bring this back down again, and keep going. Just get rid of this whole one here. Go here, and even on the side here we could get that crack now look at that get this one here too just because this is so easy there we go now we have our block here that has significantly less imperfections so go back to your arrow go back to your composition and then here we are in our clean plate comp and if you select your paint layer here turn it on and off you can see all the work that was done so that was before, and that was our after, much cleaner. And again, this is a still comp, so if we go all the way back up. We have our comp here that is attached to our tracking data as you move through. It's tracked in. And so our next thing is, since this is the only part that we want to worry about that had the cracks on it, we can just go in here and uncheck Rotobezier, and we're just going to draw a square here. so we can see where you want to cover up all the cracks that you'd already painted out. Let's see if we 
did them all the way up to there. Did some there. Yeah, that should be good. So now here's what we have. We have this clean plate that is tracking and bouncing along to the footage. So at this point, unsolo it, and now we have our footage without all the cracks all over everything. So we have a, an after. This was the original. And this is after. Honestly, and it's it's little tricks like like these that are going to help sell bigger effects because once you can layer things up, if you had more stuff to add to this comp, no one will ever be able to notice that. <coughs> no one will ever be able to notice that there's there should be cracks here or there were or it just looks like concrete. You'll never even know. Director's happy, producer's happy, and you've potentially saved a reshoot. <laughs> So something else, uh, this isn't only good obviously for just doing pan outs and uh, fixing up little imperfections. If you look at this technique as a whole, what we've done is we've isolated a single section of footage and we've been able to attach it to tracking data, but now, I mean let's say you wanted something to be on this, all you have to do is go into your clean plate comp, add some text in here and call this. No cracks, I guess. And scale it up here. Kind of line it up. Hit T, drop the opacity down a little bit. Then you go out to your main comp. Now that's what's on here. And you didn't have to do anything extra. So you do the same thing if you wanted to add a sign here, a name here, someone's face, graphical design. You wanted to add extra torn stickers or something on here. It's a really good starting point for making sure you can go back to make as many changes as you want after the fact without having to do any extra work.